Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do export credit or export finance. Bada important topic hai. That's what we are going to do today. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years and this is my WhatsApp number. In case there is any doubt regarding the session, you can ask your doubts, okay? Uh, IBPS RRB Scale 2 Scale 3 course is already available on bankexamstudy.com. You can join it. Uh, links are available in the description, okay? So what is export finance? See students, when the exporters, when the exporter, the person who is selling the goods out of India and who's bringing uh, foreign currency in India. Okay, so he is an exporter. India as a country, we want uh, dollars, okay? Because the more dollars we have, the more foreign reserves we have, we are more resilient. Uh, we are a more resilient uh, economy. Our economy is more resilient because we have more reserves. Hai, hai? Because uh, our reserves are more, so in case in the future the dollar, uh, the price of oil or the price of uh, you know the cost of imports goes up or down, we will not have to worry So that's why we need to promote the exports. Uh, the government of India they promote the exports. Okay, so that is why. Uh, Indian government provide uh, subsidies uh, or the rate of interest, low rate of interest loans. Okay. India ki government uh, subsidize karti hai, jo, uh, jo exporters loan lena chate hai. Okay. So you will get to know here. So to understand uh, the export finance, right, you need to understand the shipment point. So there is pre shipment credit, there is pre shipment credit. And there is post shipment credit pre and post shipment credit post shipment credit. So how would you differentiate between pre shipment and post shipment? So the differentiating point here is shipment point. So what is shipment point? What differentiates pre shipment and post shipment credit? So shipment point in export trade is the location where the goods are transferred uh, trans forward from exporter to the carrier or the freight forwarder for transportation. So that is the point when the goods are transferred uh, from the exporter to the, uh, you know, transportation company. After that point, whatever the loan is taken is post shipment before that it is pre shipment. Pre shipment credit is generally taken for the raw material operational expenses, right? Uh, so export packing credit. Now you need to understand export uh, packing credit. What is packing credit? It is pre shipment credit. Uh, isko pre shipment credit ko packing credit bhi bol dete hain. Pre shipment credit ko packing credit bhi bol dete hain. Theek hai? So EPC, what do you mean by EPC and how it is different for, from pre shipment credit in foreign currency? So there are two types of pre shipment credits, export pre uh, packing credit and pre shipment credit in foreign currency. As the name suggests, export pre packing credit is in INR, Indian rupees mein aapko credit mil raha hai. And the pre shipment credit in foreign currency, you get your loan in, in foreign currency. Okay. So it is a type of export uh, finance that ex uh, enables exporters to purchase or import raw material process packs are good meant for exports. So to buy the raw materials to process it, uh, the, the operational expenses and for packing the goods, whatever the money that you are spending, you get the pre shipment credit for that. And if you are taking the loan from the bank, bank up option data, you do you need export for EPC or the PCFC? Okay, so you get either of them interest rate. Kya hota hai? So interest rate, let me explain you here. So interest rate charge on EPC is repo rate plus whatever the spread minus subvention subvention basically it is a subsidy provided by the government okay so in case of pcfc because it is a foreign currency loan it is libor plus the spread spread is generally 200 basis point so let's say the libor is 2% and the spread is 2% okay so 4% is your effective rate of interest while uh, the repo rate let's say it's 6% or the spread is 2% right so it is 8%. The government provides subsidy of 5 to 6%. Okay. So that's how the that's what the effective rate of interest is. So EPC, in case of EPC, you get your loan in INR. So you go to your bank and you ask for $100,000. Uh, $100, so the bank is going to give you 
the bank is going to convert it into Indian rupees. 82 lakh rupees bank is going to provide you. The conversion fees is charged at the time of disbursement. The bank जब bank bank जब convert करके आपको पैसे दे रहा है 82 lakh rupees in your account. At that point conversion charges are charged. Okay. So <clears throat> in case of pre shipment credit, as I told you, you get your loan in foreign currency. In case of EPC, you get your loan in Indian rupees. Okay, so how you pay back the loan, it is self liquidating, uh, liquidating uh, paying back the money to the bank, which means the exporter can repay the loan with the proceeds from export sales, export sale ki proceeds say you can repay your loan. Okay. And PCFC is also self liquidating. Okay. So you need to understand the difference between EPC and PCFC. Very important. Please remember that EPC disbursed in Indian rupee and PCFC disbursed in foreign currency. Okay. So what is the tenure of EPC and PCFC? EPC ka jo tenure hai, that is 180 days but can be extended till 360 days. Uh, and uh, the PCFC ka tenure is usually 360 days from the date of disbursement. Okay. Extension can be provided. <clears throat> Crystallization in case of a default in case of a default generally in case of a default uh, repay nahi hua default or in case of a default or the export documents are not submitted to the bank within 21 uh, days from the date of shipment ye do cases mein default your document submit nahi kare 21 days from the date of shipment whichever is earlier then your loan would be crystallized crystallized ho jayega epc or the pcfc would be crystallized that means the loan in the foreign currency would be converted to the indian rupee and the bank is going to take the necessary actions okay as per the surface your ibc or whatever norms are there as per bank's policy the bank is going to take the uh, necessary action they are going to charge the higher rate of interest now let's do some questions very important questions we are going to do it's not that's really important uh, <clears throat> So packing credit is granted for which of the following packing credit is uh, it's an advance or the pre shipment credit for uh, export please remember that pre shipment credit for exports okay. The amount of packing credit should not normally exceed what the cost of manufacture or FOB value whichever is less is se zyada nahi hona chahiye. the cost of manufacture or the FOB value okay. So the amount of packing credit should be based upon the actual requirement of the exporter and should not exceed the cost of manufacture or FOB value. So what is FOB? FOB means the value of the goods at the port of shipment. Jahan se exporter bhej raha hai. CIF value means uh, the value of the good at the port of destination. So CIF may uh, the value uh, the transportation charges are included any taxation any custom duty is included FOB mail it is not included uh, insurance be included with the CIF may which of the following person is not eligible for pre shipment or the packing credit supplier to the sub supplier to the manufacturer because that person is not even in included in the the export process wo included in nahi hai merch <coughs> that is why usko nahi milega theek hai <coughs> packing credit is uh, generally uh, granted to merchant exporter a person making deemed exports deemed exports means uh, jo export hota hai cz units ko export oriented units ko jo expo, uh, jo supplier hai uska that is also deemed exporter sub supplier to the manufacturer that is allowed but sub supplier uh, supplier to the sub supplier that is not eligible for packing credit. Okay. Jo manufacturer, see, this is the exporter. Jo exporter ka supplier hai, uska bhi supplier. Uska bhi supplier. So that person, this person cannot get packing credit because packing credit lower rate of interest pe milta hai. The running account facility for packing credit is available for exporters with, for, uh, with good credit history. Okay. So what is running account facility very important uh, that allows see to get pre shipment credit what is the requirement? What is the requirement to get the pre shipment credit please watch the full session on bank exams today.com in the financial awareness section session. Usman bataya ki iski requirement kya hai pre shipment credit lene ki requirement ye hai that you need to produce the irrevocable letter of credit or confirmed export order ye dono aap in mein se kuch bhi dikhao ge you will get your uh, your packing credit okay then you can get 
you are uh, pre pre shipment credit but if you are a uh, if you are a regular exporter aap regularly order fulfill karte ho then you can have a running account so aapke like dozens of orders are there so even without <clears throat> uh, producing a letter of credit or the confirmed order you can get the credit why it is necessary sometimes you need to buy raw material which is seasonal in nature aapko raw material chahiye for example steel cotton cotton is a very good example aap uh, april ke month mein hi buy kar lete ho <coughs> chahiye aapko november mein so you buy in advance for that purpose uh, running account facility is there okay the advantage to the exporter of running account facility is production of uh, letter of credit or uh, you know the order is not required export order is not required immediately required nahi hai but reasonable time mein aap dikha do for direct export packing credit should normally be granted only against a letter of credit or the export order or the firm order okay which of the following is not a type of export finance pre shipment post shipment packing to hai but uh, i mean ye teeno hai theek hai so it is not a type ye teen hai to none of above is the answer which which type of finance is provided to an exporter after shipment that is post shipment finance okay what is the maximum period for post shipment that can be granted that is 180 days which can be extended up to 360 days which can be extended up to 360 days and for pre shipment it is also 180 days which can be extended up to 360 days so yahan pe i guess uh yahan pe bhi clarification hai it is uh 180 days and 360 days so yahan pe bhi it's 180 days and can be extended till 360 days okay so please remember that so i guess uh, that was a question number 10 and we did 10 questions only and i hope you are able to understand all the questions you are able to understand the concept that is a really important concept so students ibps rrb skill to skill 3 gbo course is available on bankexamstudy.com We are providing video classes, the notes, quizzes, test series, power capsules, and an interview preparation guidance on bankexamstudy.com. Link to join the course is available in the description, and this is our WhatsApp number nine zero six seven two zero one triple zero. This is my personal WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, and I'm going to answer your doubts. Okay. So list of our successful students, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts and that's i guess all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye